Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Volkom and I am here today to stream the match between the Knights of Malta and the Polish Eagles. This is the finals of the WWC1, I believe. And um, with me I have uh, Arminas. Hello. And Cream Pie. Hi guys. Alright, so as you can see on my screen, the the minimap is not sorted, this is because I don't have this minimap and so I can display it. But you can see everything else, which is the teams um, and the players and all that. What can you guys say about their early push strategy right now? They're coming in aggressive. Yeah, they're coming From what in they very... see, Malta has two cavalry, two infantry and archer. Little John with his already famous war bow. I really don't see the point in taking a war bow on uh, this map. <laughs> it's such a close map. On this map, definitely no. Ooh, team hit going down, and they only have five players, so that's a big loss. Blackhawk shoots down another player. And uh, Malta is kind of struggling right now, as they did the early push, thinking they were going to get some um, early kills as well. It's going wrong and in favor of the Polish Eagles. Yeah, I think they were trying to get set up and they didn't have enough time. Yeah, that's, that's what went wrong. Um, and also that calf that went on the wall, that was kind of a weird moment right there. Nietzsche is doing a great job surviving without the shield against two players. Yep. Um, Prince and War were trying to go for the shield stun. That is when one guy takes a spear or a, a war spear and then like um, hits downwards upon the shield so it stun locks the other player and you can hit through it if you're fast enough. So that is um, that's why I call experienced guys knowing this kind of stuff. First round goes to Polish Eagles, and they are going to set up the same way, hoping that Malta is going to approach them the same way. Kragen comes out to scout, and he can see that Prince is on the wall from here on. How will Malta adapt to this? Who picked the map this time? This is the fixed map, the map that must be played. Ah. And the second map, I think you said P won the duels? Ah, uh, Malta did. Oh, Malta. Then they will be picking the second map. Polish Neither Eagles. Sorry, go for it. Oh, neither side looks like they have a strategy planned out for this map. That's why I was asking. Malta looks really lost, don't they? They've been staying mm -hmm. at their spawn the whole time. Trapborn has been doing very nice for um, Polish Eagles as he was always on the left flank scouting out and reading out if they're moving or not. And with that said, um, Polish Eagles have moved up because they, the Maltas, were not moving at all. And Polish Eagles are staying very close to each other, probably waiting for a nice moment um, to attack them. They have two flags of the three, and that's all you want in a competitive war play. The flag spawns. And it spawns at their spawn, unfortunately. Polish Eagles are closer, but Malta has two caps, so maybe Malta is gonna raise that flag already. And Bonebreaker does. Polish Eagles are probably regrouping. Um, Kraken is having a little standoff right here with Treborn. Treborn is probably some going guys. up to the wall. That's what I would do as Ranger.
Uh, Punisher went in way too early right there and they called them back so that was a good call from the Polish Eagles. He's still way too far ahead and he tried to go he tries to go around them that is a smart thing to do. So now Polish Eagle pretty much have them uh, where they want them and I believe that Polish Eagle are gonna win this because they just are way better set up at the moment. It's a 1v1 fights. Prince wins his and he goes to Duner together with War, who are once again trying to shield stun. Treborn comes in to um, do a few bumps and help out where he can. War gets that kill and Prince gets uh, Duner down, making two points for the Polish Eagles. Now, Rodox versus Fagers. Would you say that Rodox would be naturally stronger on this map or not? Arminas or Cream Pie? Yeah, I was trying to think which one I would. I'm just not sure why it's Little John picking Warbo. You're still thinking about yeah. the Warbo. <laughs> I am. <laughs> You're dazzled. I strong bow and maybe <laughs> add another archer. They dropped the cow from what I can see and added another infantry. But yeah, what? Craig and but why the from war bow? Infantry. Why the I'm war not bow? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I like the war bow, but not on close map. He's probably just used to it and knows the range a lot better. Tell you what, if you get a hit with a war bow, it's a pretty damn strong hit as well. So that's the only bonus to it that I know. It's a, it's a Mexican standoff strange. right here. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why they keep pushing onto there and then and Just then they keep back on up. Staring at them. Yeah. Well, for Polish They're eagles, real aggressive. for Polish eagles, I get it. They um. Malta had two calves, to get the calf up there is pretty hard. But now both teams only have one calf, so it's very, very equal. Well, Malta's pushing pretty hard up there, and then they hesitate when they get there. We've, uh, we've seen Malta doing that yesterday as well, where they just walk up and then stand still. I think Bone the bigger breaker. shields just can't hold up. Mm, true, yep. The Polish yeah. Eagles are playing very passively, aren't they? They just like uh, hit block, hit block, and they know that the Rodok shields hold up longer. So That's a good point right there. I think if you have really excellent archers, then beggars would trump this map. But I think that if, if you don't, then... I think just the shields and the equipment of the Rodox is better. I agree. And sadly for Malta, I think they're gonna be in huge troubles when he changes to Vegas because they do have two amazing archers in Prince and Blackhawk. Bonebreaker is probably just gonna wait and save his horse. He's pretty, pretty damn close to do that. He's probably thinking about it, like, should I go in or just save my horse? I don't think he could technically take down three players, so this might be a smart decision of Bonebreaker right here. Punisher disconnects, and hopefully they have somebody on the side who can jump in for him. See if Malta is as aggressive this round. Um, Prusak come um, was Prus, Prus, <laughs> you say it. Prusak Amasutra, Stura has um come in the game instead. Oh, the name. <laughs> yeah, I think I still misread it though. It's interesting that they traded out considering the fact that they're winning. Treborn has a really nice horse at the moment. 
almost lost it to Bone Breaker. And uh, two deaths going on both sides, so it's still very equal. Malta has jumped in with three infantry this time, so they are looking out for that fight. Not winning it though, well they technically should as they have um, the infant advantage. But the team play of Polish Eagles are just a little too strong at the moment, where Bonebreaker is once again the last guy to survive and being chased by Treborn right here. He is not gonna survive that with Treborn having a warhorse and a military cleaver. Unless he picks off at the horse slowly, hit by hit. But then he still has to face three other Polish Eagles if he beats Treborn. That's his death. Yeah, not much he could do anyway. He wasn't expecting that. Brings us to a 4 0 for the Polish Eagles. Do you think there's. I think Malta. Malta should just be aggressive because the way they're playing now is just not working. So maybe just as Radix pushing through the building right into enemy spawn and trying to kill them as soon as possible could work. If they don't hesitate. I'm pretty interested. I'm pretty, um, how do you say, enthusiastic about. Curious. curious, that's the word, about what's gonna happen next. Because I do believe that Malta has the team to win this. And with a 4 0 behind, I hope they get awakening call that they have to step it up just a little bit more. Yeah, they will need a few rounds on this map. Then hopefully. For them, they're gonna pick something more familiar to them, like maybe Sandy Bush again, to try and win this match. Uh, if I was Malta, I think Polish Eagles are a little stronger on Sandy Bush, but they're only allowed to choose closed map, right? Uh, no, they can choose both open and closed. I but think again, it... yesterday, we've seen that nerds did pretty well in open map against Malta. I would say Malta would win actually, if they would choose something like Mountain Fortress. I see Malta winning that pretty heavy though. Or maybe um, North Town as well. Depends on how confident they are in their cav too. Yeah, that's true. Well, you've seen that Bonebreaker has been the last guy alive every time, so he's playing it carefully and jumps in where he can. Um, so he's been doing all right. It's just the the ground force that needs to step it up a little bit more. Are we live again? I think so. Yeah. Alrighty. So Malta has two crossbow. They're setting up crossfire. They're so far there. That's very no interesting. Cap. Yeah. That is very interesting, it's 3 infantry, 2 archers. Um, so if I was Malta, I would go in the building with that, because they have no calf, and in the building they pretty, pretty much would be safe, or like have a high ground. Um, stream is lagging a little bit, as being said in, in my chat. My internet isn't the best internet, and that is the reason why it's lagging a little bit. Um, so I'm sorry for that. I'm trying to do the best I can with the options I have. I might be wrong, but I think Malta has two flags on them, left and right of their spawn. So maybe they're hoping for that. That might be why they're not going in the building. Oh, that makes sense. Polish Eagles are in the building, though, and they, um, they're just hitting walls and everything, warming up for the big battle that's up ahead. 
second place. The flag spawns. That was uh, unfortunate. They were really set up for a good crossfire. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for Malta. So our Polish Eagle's going to stop them in the building. Uh, yeah. No, they are retreating to their spawn. Very carefully. The two calf on... Sorry, is it two? The one calf on um, the Polish Eagle side. Oh shoot, that's why it's not alright. I forgot to swap the teams around. There we go. So the one calf on the Polish Eagles are now is now coming from behind them. And hopefully surprises one of them. Oh wow. But he Nietzsche sees it coming already. Some nice shots fired right there. They need to take Treburn away from this battle and they just did it. They surround Malt will win. Ooh, that is that solid really nice. play. Yeah, I agree. And also that was a really big headshot on Prince early in the round. Yeah, I gotta early say. Early in the engagement. Was it Nietzsche that had the shot? It was Nietzsche, yeah. He's been he played this one really well. He got the archer away and then he survived against the calf that was coming behind him. Now most archers, if they get the other archer away, they usually lock down one on the infantry that are not facing him. But he was still aware that they're missing one player, assumed that it was a calf and had a look around while he was reloading. Which uh, saved his life right there, and probably the the whole team could have gone really differently if Trevor and, uh, did get that couch on Michi. Prince is going all alone on the left side from their spawn. He is a veteran at this. He has an elite skimitar, I believe, and. Um, yeah, he picked it up. I wow. think the Rodex have a better spawn for setting up. Just with where the flags are. Um, maybe. Well, technically, uh, high ground is always the better thing, but if you look at this map it slightly goes up towards the vagers so i would say vagers have the advantage um, just by the philosophy that high ground is always better it's better i'm not sure if those two polish eagles infantry are gonna engage now yep. they're pushing the crossbow there's a uh, fights happening everywhere and um Main one is down here at the uh, Rodox spawn. There's a small fight going on in what I call the crack house, <laughs> which is up there between <laughs> Blackhawk and um, Kragen. I missed the bump. Yeah, he's trying to look for that one, missed that one as well. Kraken eventually wins after a minute, a minute of dueling with his opponent Blackhawk right here. Treborn really needs to come in right here because his troops are slowly getting hit. Disturbed also needs to fight, he can't just watch. He's trying to pick a javelin, I think. Well, he's actually lagging a lot. He has 400 ping. Oh, so that's... it makes sense. Yeah, he's standing in the corner right now, not knowing what's happening. Oh my god, he's just... He's walking around, but he has no clue what's happening. <laughs> that's funny. He's completely missing his swings and all that. But, um, Good little... round for Malta again. Yeah, little John oh. takes some war at the end, and uh, that was good. Team war was play. doing a good job trying to to uh, distract the archer or the crossbows. 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't pay attention to that. So, yeah. what, what was he doing? He was doing it for. He was going back and forth in circles and moving around uh, without a shield, so they were focusing on him instead of instead of the other teammates. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. It's good stuff from him. I think disturbed is going to be the bait for this round, as um, it's. His, street, his ping is still up, way up there. Polish Eagles are doing a split again. They have Black Hawk on um, the crack house together with Prince. But there's nobody up there as Malta is now move, grouping up and going inside, well, kind of inside the building. If they are fast enough, they can probably get a push on the two players um, which are try to get to them Treborn and no sorry War and uh, Prusakama Sutra something like that and they do Kraken is chasing them but his team is not following him he really needs help or does he Ooh, that was a nice jab right there from uh, Prusak. Problem is that Donor BC'd and they still have player with huge ping. Yeah, Malta is not looking at their finest right now. They do need to get those four points if they want to have an interesting second half. They have two already and I believe they can bag it. But, um... Sturb's ping has stabilized just now. Yeah, it's fine now. Let's so hope they should, it stays that way. He should take action right now before he pings out again. It's like, let's do it. <laughs> I think key to the rounds, multi one, where that they kept Trevor without doing a lot of damage. Kept on position. dismounting him. Blackhawk took a jab from the ground and threw that little charm right there. Warhawk. Caught up with um, Nietzsche, who's trying to run away, and everyone just got a kill right there. Knights of Malta really have to get one more round here if they want to have um, a little hope for the second half, because a 6 2 is not something you want to look forward to starting the second map. Malta didn't change anything. Except, um, Muffy came in right here for Duner. And, um, on the Polish Eagle side, they didn't change anything either. So it'll be up to Muffy what they are able to do right now. Can one of you pronounce that name of Prusak? Like, I've been trying so many times, but I just need to hear it once, and then I can, like, remember it. Hmm. Prusak Kamasut... Kamastura? Prusak Kamastura? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Cool. Let's call him Prusak. Yeah. <laughs> In the US, that's a, uh... That's an anti-anxiety drug. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is. I hope he hasn't taken them while playing this game though. <laughs> Have like this 3D surround system in his living room. Uh, somebody just mentioned Craig and Carry team. Uh, Kraken is one of these guys that can hold out a 1 versus 3 for like 30 seconds, which is really impressive. He's, uh, he's just a really, really good defender when you play infantry duels with him. He has good footwork. I mean, if he's, if he's fighting off 3 and he's not dying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like He, he can just survive for eternal. Like, this is the guy that you want as an infantry in your team because 
like if you're an archer or a calf you know he's not gonna die and you can just like safely walk in at any time just wait a little bit instead of rushing straight in there I usually Nietzsche try to get them to team kill amazing shot by Nietzsche again uh, I completely missed it I just try to get them to team kill when I'm up against three. <laughs> <laughs> it's an option. Knights of Malta have set up really nice here. Yeah, oh, really and Prince got a nice, nice shot right there. Kraken came in from behind him, but Treborn takes out Kraken, which was a huge threat to the Malta team. It's three versus three. Mafia is going in there to fight two infantry, and the two archers are staying next to each other. Which is a, a rule that you should never ever do. If you want to have crossfire, you gotta split up. Ichi going in is infantry as well, and they have Lil John as an advantage. We know Lil John can take those shots, so let's see if they can um, wait and uh, keep on dueling until Lil John hits Not one. A lot of time left 25 seconds, and Baker's flag is higher. War wins that fight and that brings us to a 2 versus 2. Little John decides to go in as infantry and they really need to get that kill. It's 10 seconds left and let's see what happens. War wins this one and I fear... Oh! Little Charlie gets it but he gets it a little too late right here. I think mistake there was that those two crossbow captains shooting. Yeah, they should have gone in earlier there to help infantry. I, I agree, and uh, especially while they were standing on the same like right next to each other, that was a big mistake right there. One of them should have like taken five seconds to move up to another tree, or move in as infantry, as you said. Um, total score is 6-2 and what happens now? They choose a map or how did they do it? Um, Malta are gonna pick second map and one faction there then Polish Eagles are gonna select the second faction for that map and that map will be Sandy Bush kinda expect it with Nords They chose Sandy Bush. Did I hear that correctly? Yes, with Nords. Mm. <laughs> and B, they picked Serenids. Serenids, that's a really good pick because Serenids have um, access and potentially, like, heavy round shields can eventually break. They're like solid, but with access, it goes pretty damn fast. So it's a very very smart pick for if they decide to go as a, an infantry fight. Well, and they have good archers on both sides now. Polish eagles do. Uh, I is whether or not they're playing Nords or Serenins. There's well, no crossbow. Yeah, it's. Mm, yeah, but as Nord archer or Serenin archer, you always have. Um, you don't kill unless you do a headshot, and when you do just body shots, it's like two or three shots, which is mm. really hard to nail if you see a one on one infantry fight without hitting your own team. So, I don't know. I'm kind of skeptic of uh, the archers right here. I think this is going to be a pure infantry fight. I got um, somebody saying in the chat that Nietzsche is ultimately a gimmicky player and uh, I have no clue what that means. What, what means gimmicky? Well he says he relies on constant spinning and facing multiple opponents keeping the pressure up. Alright, that's a very nice comment.
would be nice if this match is decided in the last set. For that, Malta will need to win at least three rounds. As Nords. I would, yeah, I would love to see that happen. I think that Malta starts as um, Serenade star this time, don't, don't they? Uh, no, they start as Nords. Oh, yeah, that will happen. Who hasn't been played yet that is sitting on the bench right now? Uh, Kanikus didn't play at all. It's um, kind of weird because he's their commander, so I'm not entirely sure who is leading now. Polish Eagles. Didn't he play the first set? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Alright, that'll be interesting though, if he is, truly is the commander, then, um, yeah, then then things are going to change, then strategically Polish Eagles are going to play even better, so it's going to be a lot of pressure on Malta, especially knowing they're two points behind at the moment, four points behind at the moment, sorry. <laughs> um, looks like we are... Almost going live. As um, the wrong map was um, spawned. What city does Sandy Bush remind you of? I said not live. Yeah, because uh, Treborn apparently had some bathroom uh, time. So it's not back yet. I was about to ask, does is it me or does Sandy Bush remind you like of one of those Aladdin cities? I would know. <laughs> You've never seen Aladdin? Mm -mm. What? What kind of youth did you have? <laughs> Wait, oh, Aladdin. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that, that city, like Sandy Bush. Like kind Arabian, of, yeah. Yeah, it's it's with the, the second stories as well that you can jump from roof to roof. And it's like totally his place. <laughs> They even have a balcony way up top, you know. It's where um, that princess girl would stand on, screaming. <laughs> I got a message on uh, Twitch chat. Saying that the amazing tuna says hello. Well, hello to you, amazing tuna. <laughs> Gosh, who is that? I Hi, don't Duncan. Know. <laughs> He's amazing. I think that he's amazing because he's a Dove member. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong though. <laughs> oh, shameless promotions. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because he's a tuna, and he's the most amazing. He's also one. Belgian, so is he? Yeah. Oh, that must be why. <laughs> I believe um, we are going live. I am just setting the scores right for you guys, so I'm not leaking faulty information. And uh, we start off with a 6-2 for the Polish Eagles. Now, the Maltas are sharing their javelins, and this is very, very good, as if they win all of them and they get a whitewash, all of them will have a 5 pack of jabs, so that is a good start. Treborn was really quick on his horse, and he scouted out what the classes were and just returned to their base to tell them what's happening. 
Polish Eagles are thinking about getting the graveyard, but not entirely sure yet. Malta is setting up in the alleyway, as um, this is one flag spawn that they can truly say that they have secured. Moving up a little bit, uh, as they probably you would have guessed that the other team, which is the Polish Eagles, are hiding in the graveyard. PE has spotted them and um, they are kind of waiting for Malta to push them. But Malta, they all have jabs, it's just a jab fight at this point. <laughs> yeah, but that is very They're very smart. The they don't all have like um, five jabs, but they, they have plenty though. Malta moving as a group. Side. Seren inside at least three infantry, have full pack of javelins. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh they're yeah. infantry. Yeah. Oh, is that what you said? Okay, I'm a <laughs> there. They have more jab throwers than they have archers. Wow, indeed. It's gonna be a jab nightmare for one team. Malta has four infantry though, no archers. What do you think about that? As Nords, no archers on this map. Hmm, it might well. be that little John had to go. Or maybe they're not happy the way he was playing. And they're just adding another infantry to be extra aggressive. I think they're just relying on the the power of Nord infantry. They're doing a split push here and the jabs are being thrown. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> so many jabs are flying around. But um, the jabs are up and now they have all started to do the infantry fights. Malta holding off very, very nicely here. Sturped kind of missed that hit that he should have had. Um, but Prusak goes down to it and only Prince alive here. And Javelins will be extra helpful, I guess against Serenade's horse and they need to kill or dismount Fairburn as soon as possible yep. if they want to stand chance of winning the round. And they did that nicely there as um... With one job. Yeah, they had like a headshot on the horse coming in and so yep. that Serenade horse just dropped down straight off followed by some team member throwing a headshot to Trebron who's on the ground. Very nicely played. You mentioned you mentioned Serenids having axes, but they're not taking advantage of them. They're all they all have skimmies. Don't think they can really? afford it if they want to buy javelins. Oh uh, yeah, that might be the case. Blackhawk and Dune are doing some kickoffs at each other. Prince is now in the corner, so Malta's not gonna kick anymore. Uh, while we wait, I'll read out a joke that's going on on um, the chat. What did the ocean say to the <laughs> other ocean? Erminas, care to answer? I would agree with Duncan. It's quite <laughs> funny reply. Or Mr. Best on Twitch channel. Yeah, so the answer was um, it said nothing. It just waved. I like how you're both like dead serious and silent. <laughs> I, got, I gotta. I need more jokes, guys. So if you're on Twitch and you're following this, just look up some cool jokes. We'll read them out while the flag hasn't been spawned yet. Yeah, it seems every single round will come. Be waiting for the flag. So we'll have a lot of time for jokes. Yeah. Malta moving as a unit, I love to see this as Nords. And Bruce? <laughs> oh, it looks like he... What? Oh, that they, was weird. They just ignored him completely. Oh, oh look at Summer that. Summer is lagging and I think I know what's going on. But yeah. I really am not gonna advertise it on stream. Ah. 
Um, all right, so it's the real line. score That's so all far. I'm say. Score so far is uh, one zero on this set, and um, hopefully, I don't know what's the rule about it. Like, are they gonna continue with one zero, or are they gonna start the set over? You can't really make a rule for that, but I would I say that this round, this round can't be counted, so result will be 1-0 in this set for Malta. The whole set? Uh, no, just 1-0 in round for okay. Malta. Okay, yeah. It's kind of no bad. Because no really got a kill here. Well, it's kind of bad because um, they they already have like I think four of them survived. Uh, Muffy didn't, and they all had jabs, and they all had better armor and, and like the stuff they wanted. So they all lose that money, which is kind of a shame. Um, so yeah, for the people who don't know what's happening, uh, the latency or the ping, as you call it has gone up to an unplayable amount, whereas everybody who was in the game was uh, just shifting around and, you know, uh, warping a little bit, so it's unplayable. Hopefully, uh, it'll be fixed in a minute or five, and uh, then we can continue, or should we reschedule it? Oh, how's it going to happen? It's going to go down. You guys can answer, you know. <laughs> I know I'm thinking what to do. Yeah. Problem, problem is now that I can't even see WWC servers on the list and I lost connection. I'm not sure about you guys. Yeah, uh, I've been thrown out of it as well. I'm gonna try and restart the server, then we can hope for the best. Um, well, it has nothing to do with the server if, uh, yeah, <laughs> well, maybe, maybe it works. Yeah, according to the server panel, they're running fine. I'm updating the score while we wait. So that was a 6 3, I believe. And uh, Malta was really looking into getting back on their feet right there. So it's a shame. It's really a shame that it quit like that. Okay, Vigwaf is gonna restart all servers, and hopefully that will help us. Alright, I'm still waiting for those jokes, guys, so uh, if you're on the Twitch, bring them in. You know who's joke? Arnie. <laughs> well, I got my own opinion about it, because I, I study computer science with uh, an edge towards security, so I know how it works pretty much. and. Um, you know, you can't blame the guy. And there's so many preventions to be done, so I really... You know, you really can't blame him. That's my point of view.
what happens um, to the winner of this? Are they like the golden champions of the season, or how does that work? Because I'm, I'm fairly new to the weekend cup. But the winner of this WWC will basically book a ticket for the final WWC where they can compete for the season title. Alright, so right there now. There are four different. Mm -hmm. There are four different Warband Weekend Cups, so. And this is the first one. Okay, so. The so... winner of this one would face other three winners of WWC 2, 3, and 4. Alright, so it's it's pretty much group faces like from football or uh, the playoffs, yeah, you can as call you would it say. That. Yeah, okay. And what happens to silver and bronze? Well, for example, if we have a team that won two gold medals during one season, then we have additional WWC where all the silver medal winners would compete for that last spot in the season finals. Oh, imagine coming second in silver. <laughs> that, would, that would be horrible. That would be like just losing gold for uh, the ticket to play in the finals and like just losing the silver title in the silver play, like on the silver finals. So. Kind of feel bad for the guys who who end up in that place. It's gonna be a very, very long stream, I believe, because um, we're not getting this fixed at the moment. I appreciate everyone for just hanging in there. We're trying to do the best we can so we can continue. And uh, it's so far I think it's exciting. He's doing his best to try and get the servers up. I have a backup server as option, but. Problem is, we don't have streamer mod here. We don't use WNL mod, so I'm asking if teams would like to play with free camera. Okay. I love the chat that's going on right now. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> it's, uh,. It's really hilarious, um, pretty much talking about puns, about fish and ocean and all that, about, um, well, the storm that came, the thing that blew us off our feet. If everything else fails, we can just go to a dual server and maybe handle it from there on. <laughs> Be like, you, you both have great lenses, go at each other, first one that wins gets, um, gets the gold. Thinking about splitting up the stream as well uh, for the people who want to rewatch this because it's a long time waiting. I'll do it in two parts so you don't have to uh, wait that long. So, once again, thanks everyone for being patient. 
we uh we just had a downtime on the server and uh we're trying to fix it as soon as possible so we can continue with our match. Okay, so big love will upload WWC mod to one of his servers and hopefully we'll be able to proceed playing there. We'll have streamer option and everything. Alright, I'm connected. It should right take now. five mat five minutes. Okay. For now I guess we could stay here. Enjoy my amazing map. <laughs> you made <laughs> you made that? Yep. Uh, I might as well show the viewers what's happening. So it is an amazing <laughs> map. Cream you have info in TS. I'm sorry, what was that? You have info in TS chat about server. It looks like a typical um, barbecue restaurant from like from Boston or something. Then again, you got some Asian vibes in there. Oh, I've played this map before. I think some other server is running this map as well. Armanos broke the other server so that he could advertise his map building skills. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a badass on that. You'd be like an <laughs> official e plug right there. So I assume that the game is going to continue on this server, or are we going to change server? Well, we are going to change server that supports stream streamer option. Okay. And Wiglaf is currently uploading WNO mod to it. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I've played this map as well, but I've never ever noticed that on top of this Colosseum arcs you have, that you actually <laughs> spelled the clan name. One of the things uh, I think about doing very soonish is um, instead of streaming, I'm gonna be trying to make maps for the competitive play and just experiment how that is going. So I'll, I'll definitely be talking more to you. <laughs> is it is it hard to build a map like this? Mm, it takes time. It's really not that hard, but it takes time. Alright, because you need to place like everything gently or like step by step or something. Yes, sadly there is no copy paste option, so you have to place every single scene prop on your own. Alright. The sad thing is that a lot of maps have so much detail to them, but nobody ever notices it. Yeah, I would, I would agree that this is one of those maps. Actually, most of my maps have them. A lot of details. What do you need um, to start building maps? Do you need, like, 
programs or nothing really. There is editor included with Warband. And that has everything in it? Yep. Oh wow. If I'm um, if I'm gonna stream the other one as well, um, the other match, the bronze match, do you think it's possible that they can put it on hold until we get there? Erminas? I will need to talk to them. Okay. But at present, I really, actually, me and Vigla really need to try and solve this problem. Okay. Sorry, what uh, what is it that we're waiting on? Um, I <laughs> think that uh, you can say I'm Renas. We are just waiting for Rigloff to upload admin mod to a different server. It shouldn't take long. I'll be right back, guys. Alright. Okay, welcome you have server in PS. Okay. Uh, still need a password for it though.
Um, can you re-give me the streamer mod, please? Yes. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Um, looks like we have our rings sorted out. We are just waiting for the players to join the game. And um, as soon as they are ready, we can continue with what we had before, which was um, Sandy Bush, Nords versus Sultana. And uh, Knights of Malta already had one point ahead, so I'm not sure how that is going to be worked out, as um, four of them survived, and uh, they all had jabs, so I'm not sure if they have to rebuy it or anything. But we're working on that one. And as soon as that is sorted out, we can continue with the game. I think Malta is on the verge of a very, very good comeback right there. But we will see what will happen. Once again, sorry for our inconveniences. Um, we are all trying to do the best we can so we can continue up this tournament match in an easy way. Um, mind throwing me a streamer again, Herminus? Yes. Thank you. Polish Eagles have already announced that they are ready, and now we are just waiting on Malta to say that they are ready. Okay, so this is how we'll do it. All the shakers will let Malta win one round so that they can get their gold back. Then we'll proceed like nothing happened. Alright, um, you gotta keep in mind that the player Malfi died during that first set though. <laughs> I love my chat. Um, okay, I think we're ready. Our we're queen by will join us in a minute or two. Okay. For the last um, 20 minutes, I believe, the chat on Twitch has been nothing but puns. And I gotta, um, how do you say it? 
embrace you guys for keeping it up and being so creative. It's good stuff. I love reading chat. We're just waiting for Polish equals to be ready. Oh, they've been ready for ages. They've kept um, Blackhawk's been saying ready the whole time already. So if well, Malta is ready, then we can go. When I asked again, on the Malta replied. Okay, they're ready. Alright, well thanks for staying with us viewers, um, we are going live right now, let me just set up the settings real quickly, so uh, I wouldn't give you faulty information. And uh, the agreement right now is that um, the Polish Eagles have to lose one round so the equipment is correctly disturbed, how do you say, distributed among um, yes. the Knights of Malta so they can continue where they left off as only Malfi has died that one time and uh, so here they are our brave warriors of the Polish Eagles and they have killed John which wasn't the fact um, I think how they it went killed down. one player they did kill one player in that round so that was it yeah, it was Muffy. <laughs> they killed John instead. Poor guy. Now we're going live. <laughs> Alright, so we can take back um, from where we left off. And that would be uh, Malta now taking an archer extra as Lil John has joined them once again. Uh, which was not present in the last time, but I guess we grant him that. And uh, PE with the same setup as they had before. The Polish Eagles are once again in the graveyard area, um, covering their spawn a little bit as well. Little John on the ninja ladder, this is the ladder I'm looking at right now. And uh, he's trying to take some pop shots at um, the guy who might possibly be standing here. There's nobody here, so he's wasting arrows. I'm back, guys. Hey. Welcome back. Check Steam for server info. Gotcha. Prusak, um, Prusak is looking over in the alleyways and he doesn't see anybody. So now Polish Eagles are probably wondering where are they. can be nowhere else but their spawn ends in the alleyway. So they do have an ID but they're not 100% sure, uh, certain. Blackhawk ch checking over again with free view and sees Muffy. So now they can be certain that they are all in the alleyway. There's five seconds until the flag spawns. And uh, let's see where it is. Last time it was in the middle. It was in the middle, yes. And perfect. There it is again. 
Alright, so what we've seen from Knights of Malta is that they were grouping up as a bunch and just uh, walking together towards the graveyard. They are not that together this time, as Kraken is way too far ahead. Tuner, who is an archer, is also way far ahead. They're taking the whole ground here, and I don't believe that North should be doing this. Um, we'll see what happens. We see Treborn going in in the alley, and this might take off Dooner or Lil John right here. Uh, but gets a hit on Muffy, surpasses all of them. And Lil John gets a nice shot on Blackhawk, taking down uh, an infantry. The fight has happened. Muffy is fighting the one on one. Lil John is aiming at War, and Dooner is trying to hold him up as long as possible. Ooh, a team kill happened right there, yeah. but Lil Chum made it back to uh, to represent it <laughs> to uh, and his honor instead of killing his own teammate. That brings uh, a second point to the Knights of Malta. Um, giving us a total of 6-4. This match is getting more and more interesting. But uh, I am a big fan of nerds on this map, and I think a lot of players are. So they uh, they know um, well. They they can easily play as nerds, and you have like heavy armor and uh, a lot of jazz and stuff. So if you fight in close corners and you stay together as nerds, you usually do have the winning ground here. Polish eagles are kind of. Uh, not being active here, as Blackhawk is just standing there doing nothing. I'm not sure if he's there or not, but Muffy is at least trying to throw something at him. And Blackhawk disconnects, and this is a big loss as we only have five players. And um, one more round. If Malta wins. Yeah, it's, it's it's not good. It's not good at all. Malta has um, four infantry this time, and Lil John swapped out during the set. I'm not sure if that's allowed either. Uh, for Bonebreaker, who came in or disturbed on one of these two. Funds are still rolling in the chat, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, Malmberg saying, "If you complain any more about your bass wood rupture, and what's bass? Yeah, the fish. Well, Joe. Um, the flag has they transitioned into <laughs> into trees. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. I see. He's just still playing on the ocean pens. <laughs> yeah." Uh, Dooner getting a nice jab right there on uh, Prusak. Kraken gets the jab on Prince, and jabs are just flying, and this is going to be a killer for uh, Knights of Malta, as they only have two opponents left to defeat. They do 2v1 on War, and War dies, and so does Treborn, making this a very easy round to win for the Knights of Malta. With one guy disconnecting and then you have two chaps kills like straight off the bat, that is a hell of a good play from uh, Knights of Malta to have. Polish Eagles have gone a little more aggressive this time as they took three infantry and two calf, so they're gonna rely a lot on those calf bumping. Prince is known to be an archer, but I've seen him in calf play and he's also good at that. Now the other one did count, correct? Um, they just, the first one? Yeah, they just redid it, like reenacted it <laughs> as uh, one guy died and then they killed like four. It was kind of like. But before the server crashed, it, that that round did yeah. count? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, no, we kind of reenacted it here. So, first round, we gave it to, to Malta just so they can get their gold back. 
Um, Trevor and B. So this is the last round. Oh, they said. Gotcha. Trevor and B, the last guy alive. It's not much he could do against um, five of uh, really pimped up Nords. So it is a total of six six right now, and um, all we've seen so far are like really really high different score. Well, score differences. As the first set was a 4-0 and a 2-2, which was kind of even, but now 4-0 again. So, if they want to continue their ritual, then they will get another 2-2 and it will end up in a draw. But, uh, I really doubt that's going to happen, because Nords are that, that good. Keep in mind, this is um, the ticket towards the finals of the WWC Season 1. Is it Season 1? This is actually Season 3 of the Fiverr side. Do you know? Oh, <laughs> shit. First season, uh, Core won the title, and in the second, it was Irish Rebels. Okay. Um, so Malta is looking really. St I swear I've seen Malta having so many prizes from this weekend cup thingies. They do. They're really one of the most active clans in WWC. Um, so if whoever wins this one right here. It uh, goes to either the Golden or the Silver Finals for this season, and um, that's quite a big uh, honor to have. Polish Eagles announcing that they are ready, and so are Malta, so we are looking to reset the server, go to the final set, as the total score is now 6-6, six, six, and every single round will count towards this, so they have to play really defensive and really, really smart. Problem with that is that they have Nords, and <laughs> Nords are really aggressive. Saren needs must do everything to win this first round. Or even if they do lose, they must try and kill as many as possible. Yep, for sure, because Nords, they tank up really easily. And, Make uh, sure their jabs as well. Yeah. So, they're Doesn't look not... Like Saren stood that this round. They're not playing defensive at all. They're, they're looking to chase each other. They're both confident that they can win the melee fights. Now they're running towards each other. They both have the same setup, 4 inf and 1 calf. So nobody has archers, and it's all kind of come down to fight well, die well, <laughs> which is a nice announcement. <laughs> Uh, Polish Eagles with one player in an advantage right now, but takes it back right here as it's three versus three. It's still two calf left and two infantry. Calf dies on their side, and now um, Malta is looking really strong as they have three this versus is one. Malta needed. Yeah, this is exactly what Malta wanted as well. And I would do what Disturb is doing now. Take your time to loot the better equipment Nords have, like axes. Just leave that guy up there for yeah. now. Yeah, for sure. Just uh, take javelins as well if they can, and uh, that's it. That's all they need. They are running away so for some reason. Warra still has a jav, but oh, 
Oh, almost had Bone Breaker in the heel right there. He didn't even realize how close that was. Uh, they're gonna fight safe. Just wait for the flags, then decide what to do. And right now, just charging him, but War That's gets good. that one. In case he's not playing it safe, no. he should be charging there. Kelly can't help him at all. If Duna was smart, War knows that too. He's hiding behind that tree. If Duna was smart, he would back off. He needs he needs room to give to that calf. And uh, War is coming out, and Duna is not right there to help him out. So uh, if I was Duna, I would come back. He's like right in the open right now. It's too late now, that was a strange move. Yeah, it was a very strange move. Dooner is on the flag, and uh, Serenite and Calf are really fast, so he'll be there in any second. As he comes in right now, gets a bump, uh, bump slash, and also gets that last uh, stabby on the war, which makes it. Necessary a... death. Mm -hmm. There was a necessary death by a third player. Yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, I can't remember who it was. Neither can I, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sturp going with the bath rope armor, which is still <laughs> horrible armor for Sarnets. Um, and the Sarnets by itself not upgrading that much, except Dooner. The Javs are flying in already. And they have no idea that they're already at the graveyard. What's Bonebreaker doing? Uh, finally, he turns around. And the calf is coming from the um, north side as well. He's coming in the graveyard right now. And he gets a nice hit on Graveyard. Ooh, the Sturb got a very nice dismount from Trevor. Trevor got that kill already. So. Stur is doing the best he can, but he is the last guy alive against five Nords, and this is not looking to be good. I either Disturb is gonna wait it out for um, two minutes and thirty seconds, which is a very they're very not long gonna, time. They're not gonna let him survive. They're covering the whole map. Here. Well, oh, nice kill nice. there. That was very nice played. He uh, he waited till he stabbed and then he went in just as he reached his full length. Sadly, nice. with next trail, that horse will probably go down. Or the player though, because uh, he looks pretty tackled to me as well. Malmberg saying in confident in my chat. Just waiting to like cork the champagne. He knows he's gonna win. I don't. I don't know if you guys know who's gonna win. They're. They're just trying to collect jabs. Might be a smarter thing to do. And now they're moving down, as you can see on the mini map. War raising the flag. Sturb still has a minute though. Are they going to fully erase the flag or are they going to hunt him down? Sturb caught one of the chaps. <laughs> Those chaps, he's like a Neo from the Matrix, he's just he's dodging really all of dodging. them. <laughs> exactly. Get an award for this alone. Surviving two minutes and thirty seconds against four Nords. With jazz, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's an achievement. Oh, he itself. may not see that. No, he... Got the smile down. Down. And he Very nice down. attempt. That was a two-minute waste for all of us, <laughs> but uh, a good attempt, as you say. Yeah. It is 7-7, the, the 
first, well, the guys who win now are going to be key. They are securing a draw. So there's a lot of pressure on these guys right now. I don't know. I don't want to know how their team speak is. Because I bet there's going to be a lot of shaky hands right here. Still going with the same setup, so they don't have any archers. And um, they are all confident about their melee fighting skills. Prusak staying in the back with the spear, so the calf cannot do anything. He knows that um, was it? Disturbed is a very good calf. And he wants to prevent. He's trying to fight. It's a solo rush by Prince right here. And Malta is being very smart. They're grouping up on the weaker side. So if they see they're being flanked, they're going to push out one side while they are outnumbered and hope to get him down, uh, get the whole team down. But they're going back in. And this is going to be their fatal move because Black Hawk is up there. And right now, uh, Malta is... Oh, they're pushing out, so they're fighting 4 versus 3 right now. This is going to be a huge advantage, as Black Hawk is still in the Graver and unable to do anything. Disturb comes in and kills War. And, and this is also killed by Disturbed on Trebron. Oh wow, this is great play. This is a very good call from the Malta side. It's only one person left, and he, while going for the shields, then Kragen actually got the kill. Alta secured the draw, and yep. over time. And they played that very smart. They pushed the weaker side, and um, the weaker side was the one at the archway, where there were three guys while Black Hawk was trying to flank them solely. Um, but it didn't pay off. Really all comes down to this round. So it's, it's, kinda, it's kinda expected. Nords are not gonna try and charge this time. They're gonna try and wait. They should though, but they should charge they do, all but together. They're not, they're not really feeling confident now, I suppose. And why does War has free shield is beyond me. Who does? War. He has good armor but free shield. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, he didn't get the memo. He got Prince he standing should... there. Prince got a uh, a round shield, like the wooden one. And Trevor is dismounted. That's a good start Trevor... for Malta. Trevor should have swapped his shield and gave it to War. That's a very good start for Malta. Now that their calf is down, they know they only have infantry. And so Disturbed is going to be a very big key here. He can either destroy it or make it. So I'll be watching that him very close. That shield will go in one hit from the Serenid Axe. Prince with a very that nice jab. Break with that axe. Prince another very nice jab right here. And the free shield goes down. Yeah, but he's holding out very well though. Disturbed got stopped. And uh, Black Hawk takes down Moffy. Kraken uh, doing what I said that he could is just survive against that many players. But uh, he goes down to Prince. And <laughs> guess who's alive? That's right, Disturbed is. And once again, four Nords are just trying to find him. But, uh,. Prince is very low on health and Prusak is as well. So it's gonna come down to either them. <laughs> that announcement. Uh, it's gonna come down to them either ganging up or just waiting for the flag and securing that draw. Yeah, we're gonna see our time. Fight him. Yep. Everyone is so low on health right now. Disturb can actually make this. Ah, oh, but he goes down. 
He could have clutched this technically as they're all one hits. And um it's gonna be Oh, where are they going? Um, the total score is 8-8, eight, eight. and uh, so we have overtime, that means two rounds for every map played so far. Uh, sorry, four rounds, but switching between two every single time. So it'll be very, very quickly, and uh, yeah, let's see who can win. I'm just gonna go for um, 30 seconds, you guys feel free to fill up if anything happens. But I really, really need a tissue as I'm getting a cold here. <laughs> so I'll be, be right back. Okay, I'll be swapping to the map. Then hopefully teams will be back on server so we can start and finish this final. Oh, because we don't have the first map on this on the server. Uh, we, I think we do. Did Malta come back? Because I'm seeing we're missing two of them. All right, I have returned in full health. <laughs> um, so the first miraculous map... healing. <laughs> yeah, it's there's nothing a tissue can do. <laughs> um, the first map will once again be Stronghold. I do not have the mini map for that one, so you guys will have to watch on a not um, well, not a good map on the mini map. But I am here to provide you with the material so you can see how this uh, tiebreaker is going to go down. I believe it's going to be interesting as um, they only have two rounds, so every point will count. I don't think we'll make it in time to film the, the bronze match. <laughs> I was um, normally I was going to stream uh, the bronze match as well for this um, weekend World Cup, but with the incident that happened and um, yeah, the overtime happening right now, I'm afraid that uh, we'll have missed. The, the bigger part, and so I don't see fit for continuing streaming that match. According to Big Love, I don't think it has started yet. Oh, I don't think I can physically either, though. <laughs> no, I understand that. This, this match has it's been already going amazing on. what you've done this weekend. Oh, I think so. So as soon as both teams are ready and give it in, then uh, we can continue to stream and uh, it will go very fast once again because it's um, it's not a first to two but it's just two rounds so you can either draw it or win it or lose it, that's it. It will be interesting to see if the teams are going to come with some new tactics, new approach to this map. We are going live right now. Let me just set up as I usually do.
And um, the Knights of Malta have gone with three infantry, an archer and a calf. And uh, the Polish Eagles have gone with two archers, two infantry and a calf. Disturbed is already a... Oh, is this not live then? They called it. free. Oh, okay. Um, so, once again, same classes as I read out before. Uh, the minimap doesn't check out, so I don't look at that. It does work with positioning, so you can kind of orientate where they are about, but it's totally not representative what, with, with what you can see right now. Um, Polish eagles going up on that wall again. We've seen some fights happening here earlier. Malta but... setting up in the house. Yeah, looks like they are for once, because I've not seen them go in the house before. They're doing different approach this time, in my opinion, smarter approach. If I can recall, last time they tried to push left side, just mm -hmm. up to that wall, and that didn't work at all for them. Black Hawk is coming yeah. around there to flank them. Yeah, I see him. And uh, so are the calf there, kind of like fighting each other as the Sturm comes in. And Trevor is so unaware of where he was. I'm seeing a lot of playing around on, on Malta where they're just messing with each other. Pretending to shoot each other and things like that. Hitting the walls. Yeah, I've seen uh, that. I've seen Polish eagles do it as well. Once they get in the house, it's just like it mans them, and they just start hitting stuff. <laughs> Could be a sign that they're relaxed in TS, feeling confident, which is good. I think the house is haunted, and they just get the jeepers and start hitting stuff. Is that the crack house that you called it? No, no, the crack house is, um, if you follow Malta, you go to the right, because you can go oh. up there in the house, and there's a crack in the house, where that ladder oh, goes gotcha. to. Oh, gotcha. That's why we call it the crack house. <laughs> Blackhawk's gonna have to make a decision. Is he fighting already? Trapping no, they, they waited too long. They were shooting and they waited way too long. Trapping is losing up. cavalry dogfight against Donor. Actually disturbed, sir. And that warbow of Little John is working now. Unlike first time we saw this playing. Yeah, um, maybe he's gotten into the game already after this many hours. Because uh, some people are really good once they get warmed up and it takes long for them to warm up. Some people just get really quick into it and then they, uh, they, they kind of lose their concentration real fast as well, so... Depends on the players. So that tactic worked for uh, Malta then? Going into that house? Yep, yeah, uh, I think they're doing the same. Why not? If you already have... Uh, if it works, it works. We saw a disconnect uh, earlier here, where Garnica has just picked in. And uh, I'm not sh I forgot the name we disconnected. Just for a sec. Okay, yeah. Trapper on lost shield. I almost got dismounted. <laughs> um, 
in the chat, Malmberg is explaining the reason why he calls it a crack house. He says it's a crack house because it's going to effing crack you up. So yeah, then uh, Mr. Blast comes in with a golf clap. I don't think they understand why it's called a uh, crack house in the first place. Already some uh, dog fights going on here of Treborn and Disturbed. Uh, Disturbed guy. Treborn is losing this fight again and he lost horse. Ooh. And he's dead. This is big disadvantage now. That was a really solid play from Disturbed right there. Completely outcalved them on that situation. Prince is waiting for the shot but decides to back off as his whole team caught up to him. And they are now running towards this flag. Prince is probably gonna look to go up there and have a top view advantage. The Maltese are coming in in numbers through that alley. But what they don't know is that they have a side guy here, Lil John, shooting away at them. They have no clue where it comes from. They have finally spotted Lil John, and the fight is already happening as Malta has is at the flag already. Sturp coming in oh, with that couch. Sturp once again. Kragen gets that, and the last fight is uh, behind in the side alley <laughs> where uh, Prince gets a kill on the. Uh, Oh, I forgot to say. But it's not a place you want to die. You don't want to die in a dark side alley of the crack house. That is, uh, it's not honorable. That's never good. <laughs> um, so Malta gained two points right there. Making it a 10-8. And uh, we're going to do a swap change as this is a tiebreaker. And... Um, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I think the swaps are going to be very, very fast. So we don't need a lot of preparation. They have already had a lot of practice, so they know their tactics. And uh, right I am, as we're going live again. Malta is sticking with three infantry, an archer, and a calf. As um, Polish eagles do the same thing, they are copying their tactics. We have Treborn on that horse again, and Prince as the shooting pew pew archer. Duner is already right there to face him. And that is a very early kill, and the fight breaks open. Lil John gets a very nice shot there, and they're moving into the building for disruption. Trevor is doing all he can, but he gets a team kill. But on he's Prince. not helping at all. Truner gets a hit on Kragen, which is a big loss as well, and Bonebreaker gets that kill. Trevor is down there, and he's the last guy alive. He's gonna do what he can, but will it be enough? No. It's not enough. Uh, little John gets that flash, but Trevor was in a really ugly situation where uh, he was trying to shield up to one guy, and on the staircase, there's not a lot of um, feet movement you can do. Uh, talking some smack here from uh, Trevor and his uh, good I guess we could understand it because this has been going on for so long, this match. We probably all are tired. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Blackhawk got a nice jab right there, but surprised uh, about people coming in for attack. Treborn gets a hit by his own teammate right there. And um, they have both lost one player so far. Prince is looking out to do some shots, but he's backing off now as he got hit. And uh, trades are coming in. People are dying left and right. Lil John gets a hit on Prince. Garnicus gets nice that kill on Garnicus. John. 
and uh, Blackhawk is fighting, and so the other pair is fighting as well. I feel Ganicus is gonna get this one against Dooner, but upstairs they might lose it though, so Blackhawk is now coming down, not aware that Dooner is already upstairs. Oh, and he's flanking. I'm not sure what's going on. Probably not communicating well in TS. No, not, not at all. Same with the calf though, the Sturm should be coming in any second right now to help him out. Dooner is smart enough to walk to the open because that's where the calf is really going to be an advantage. Garnicus is waiting for that calf to come in because he's got the spear ready and Blackhawk will be the fighting, uh, the one fighting Dooner. Sturm getting a very nice kill right there and uh, all he's going to do is uh, either hit or bump and he got the kill with uh, hit, hitting. Once again, Malta collecting two points, making them an, uh, ahead with uh, 12 to 8. And if uh, Polish Eagles wants to draw it again, <laughs> they have to get all four rounds. What happens if they draw it again? We would need to play it again. Really? <laughs> it keeps going? Sadly, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Alright. I hope you guys are getting used to our voices, because we'll be here all night. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> there is no end. They have not foreseen that you can keep on drawing till eternity. Uh, I feel I kind of believe in Polish Eagles. I'm I'm a really naive person, so I always uh, think positive and hope for the best. So my uh, my heart goes with the Polish Eagles right now, so they can uh, boost it up to 12 again and uh, have me go for another tissue. Meanwhile. As soon as they are ready, we are good to go. I don't believe it should be taking much longer. The map plate now is um, Sandy Bush, and uh, the factions are Norths against Serenids. We've seen that the Norths were the dominating ones. But Malta made a very, very good display with Serenids as well. So I hope that the Polish Eagles will be strong in uh, both factions. Oh, what's going on? I think Malta forgot that there were Nords on this side first. Alright, it looks like we're live. Polish Eagles um, went with the same setup as the Nords have, which is three infantry, an archer, and a calf. 
I feel that Nords are kind of wasting that one archer for infantry, but little John has been really solid as his sh in his shots, so why not? Uh, Polish eagles spawn camping and graveyard uh, camping as Malta is moving down the alley. Malmberg asking me in the chat, Falcon, do you eel cod anymore? I have no clue what you're saying, buddy. Do you do you feel cold anymore? It's not. That's a what cold. he's trying to say, but in an ocean pun way. Oh, I see. I see. Thanks for translation. <laughs> um, <laughs> I speak pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should put it on resume. Like I can speak <laughs> multiple languages. Um. It's not that I'm cold, it's just that it's winter and I have like the radiator on and the blend of that doesn't work on me. It's the same when you're sitting at your office or in school and it's really cold but they put on the radiator and then it's like too hot but still too cold. And body just goes really messy on it. Flag is about to spawn. The flag has spawned in favor of the Polish Eagles, as it is in the graveyard. They are setting up for defense. The Knights of Malta are setting up for offense. And uh, what would be the ideal situation for Nords, do you think? How would you I think a lot it? of it comes down to... I would try to push Prince on the stairs with one infantry, then try and maybe position little John up there so that he can shoot on flag. Yes. I, I Sorry, agree. I was going to call it. Yes, <laughs> I think it all comes down to little John and how many shots he gets right now. I agree, but uh, they don't do that, so let's hope it does pay off the way they play it. Uh, so far, and it does. That's why they're punished by Prince. Yep. gets a kill after all, but uh, not enough to make this round count towards Knights of Malta as three Polish Eagles still survive and uh, they have been upgrading quite well. Garnicus has been smart enough to get a shield and uh, Treborn is definitely gonna use advantage of that free kite shield that is on the ground. Nobs are really need this round. Because it could be tricky when they swap sides and play serenades. Oh, Disturbed came in very nicely right there with a first kill. Prince once again up there, but this time Kragen is gonna chase him as he does not want him to continue shooting like last time. Trapper and dismounted. They really need to do something about Disturbed here, because he's been freely roaming around this graveyard. And Warl does, he gets him out of there. Uh, but dies straight away as he tries to come in for the help. Treborn's still alive? Not for long, that was a very greedy hit from Bonebreaker right there. But I kinda give it to him, as um, it was the last round. And uh, they've been playing for ages, so the concentration is kinda uh, losing. They've both scored a point, and that makes it a 13-9. Technically, Malta has already won. So, do they continue yes. playing? If they want, they can continue playing. Okay. Uh, the best that Polish Eagles can do right now is get two more points, making it a total of 13 to 11. With a 13-9, it's already a very respectable score as it's uh, such a close game so far.
looks like the round um, is going live. Quick decisions. And uh, Knights of Malta are missing a player right here. Oh, looks like we're live again. Got some uh, misunderstandings going up there. It's probably gonna end really fast. I believe so. Looks like um, Knights of Malta have two archers this time. And uh, Polish Eagles have none. So they are gonna rush them like no other before. They got Lil John on uh, the staircase. And he's gonna be looking to shoot down at the moment. Black Hawk is going straight for him here. And everyone is doing their own fight, so individual fight. Now and then the calf comes in, but they are not really helping out so far, as they've been all missing uh, their hits. Sturb gets a nice hit. But he's not doing enough because the Polish Eagles are kind of winning this one. Kragen takes it back to 3 3, and with Disturbed around the corner. And Trevorn around the corner. Uh, nothing changes. Trevorn does get that hit. And Kragen is the last guy alive with only 10% health. The Sturb gets dismounted, so he's not gonna come in and help. Kragen can do this, but he's gonna need a lot of luck to do this. Blackhawk takes him down, and the Sturb was gonna come and help him, but he died after all. Blackhawk takes him. Black Hawk got 3 out of 5 kills right there as infantry. That's pretty impressive. Looks like uh, Trevor is AFK for a little bit. And um, the Polish Eagles are moving up with their 4 infantry once again. Trevor has returned and Sturb is already at their spawn, overlooking to see if they can catch anything. Malta is pushing out from the other side, which is very uh, unnatural to do. Lil John and Yara are looking for shots. They are not happening. Sturb coming in with that couch, and that takes care of um, Prince. I have to say, Sturb has been such a key player. He's been the one calf they always used. But he's doing that much damage and bumping and switching targets, it's amazing. Yeah, I think in this match he was on pair, maybe even better than Trebron. And Trebron is really famous for being really good cap. Uh, in this match <laughs> I didn't see like excellent status though. Um, but he's playing I well. Agree with that. Uh, Kragen is just sparing the heck out of it and Trevor falls for it. Dooner is coming in and uh, Kragen is trying to poke but now he needs to switch to Skimmy. He does and he's letting Yara take the shot that is very honorable as he's playing very defensive. Yara doesn't take the shot and he goes in as infantry. Fighting a 2v1, what can Warl do against this? Doing some very disco moves right here as he's moonwalking and all that. But eventually goes down to Kraken, and this turns out to be a 14 to 10 total score. I don't think I'll have a voice tomorrow. <laughs> I've been talking so much. I'm really sad that this really good match was kind of ruined. Yeah, but we've seen uh, we've seen it all, and I, f I think it's cool that a uh, a finals match of a weekend ends up in a draw. That's always awesome to see.
Um, I'll start off. I'd like to thank everyone watching and bearing with us while we had some technical difficulties. I do hope you enjoy the match. And I always like to thank my co-casters for being here today. So thank you to Cream Pie and thank you to Erminas. Thank you. No um, problem. It was really fun. Yeah, I'll, uh, if you want to say something, if you want to thank somebody, uh, Erminas, you can start first. Well, again, big thanks to you for doing an amazing job this whole weekend with three streams. Oh. And congratulations to Malta for winning gold and B for grabbing silver. I'm not sure what's the status about the other match. But I'm hoping they don't have as many problems as we had here. Yeah, I hope set us up with this alternative server. It's it's good to have that alternative server set up mm -hmm. in uh, the future as well. Um, cream right, pie. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you to both of you. I've um, I'm, I've got to go ahead and go, but that was fun. Okay, cool. Sweet and short, short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, that'll be it for us for today, and uh, maybe I'll stream again, so keep an eye out. Alright, good night everyone.